Rocky Rodriguez Jr. Um, I'm a theater director. I grew up in um, St. Louis, Missouri. I was born in Tampa, Florida. You know, so I work with um, a lot of older practices for the theater and put um, kind of my touch on them to see where they can go. Um, and I think that's just the most exciting way to work because on a daily basis you, you get to experience um, a pure and true act of creation and facilitating that, um, which is beautiful and more fulfilling than any kind of um, culture-based successes, um, I don't know, fame, money, etc. And then you get to really um, travel into the unknown about things. You know, when you're working with practices that are a bit um, scary, we can go in there, into those a bit later. There's this element of walking in a dark room. And I think this is a beautiful way to work too because eventually there'll be a piece of light in the dark room and you'll see the most beautiful colors. And I, I think that's uh, what our play is. Hi. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Come in, please. Please, do it Make yourself at home. Yes. You found it? Okay. Thank you for having me. Like, um, yeah, it's very close to where I'm staying, you know, but yeah. You yeah. know, you know the situation. I heard. For one month. I pretty much so. So at least you've got somewhere. You. So, let's get acquainted. This is pretty much my space. This is where I do most of my... Pretty much. I didn't think I'd be honest, I don't really leave my room that much, but it feels like a feels like a home. Okay. I like it. It's uh, it's got a little spark to it. it. It's different. It's it does the job, I guess. Yes, I am uh, Julia Benzem. Yeah, and uh, I'm a performer, a physical performer. Uh, I come from an acting background. I finished uh, an acting school in Romania, and that's why I came here like three years ago in London. Um, and I studied, I finished an MA recently at uh, the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama. Well, I've known Rocky for a few years. Uh, we were colleagues at uh, our master course, and I was quite fascinated by his work and what he was planning to do. I just wanted to work together, and we met one day at a beer, and uh, yeah. And that's how it all started, I guess. It's a very, very intense, intense play and character that you play. Um, how did you, how were you able to bring yourself to relate to it? Um, I guess I, 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 I became very close to this character because um, of my own traumas in my own life. Um, I made similarities between them, like, you know, common points and um, you know, being, being uh, misplaced somewhere, uh, being in um, uh, agony because, you know, in a, a severe agony that you're doing something and, you know, your own awareness that tells you or your own conscience that tells you not to do it. And um, so I kind of like related with that conflict inside uh, with, um, with the fear of failing and every day waking up and not enjoying what you see or not enjoying how your life is right now and um, and I guess I don't know it was very it was a very interesting process and um, I really I really am um, very close to this person
Okay, come on. I'm Lucas John Mahoney, um, I'm 24 years old, um, born and raised in Leeds, Yorkshire, on the good side of the Pennines. I first got a, a, a glimpse of what the play was going to be about when I met Rocky on a night out once, mm -hmm. and he was kind of just told me about it, and he told me that he wanted me to play the elderly man, but that was about it, because we really focused on technique and getting ourselves to the level where we can really fully immerse ourselves in our techniques. And I was always told that I had like a, a quite a vast emotional depth as a, as, a, as a performer, but this, I never really knew how to fully hone my craft, so to speak. And, you know, Rocky and the techniques that we use really gave me a platform to really develop and explore and like solidify my own structure as an artist. I just fell in love with it when I when I first came. It was just something completely different to anything I'd really ever been involved in before. You're someone staying in my house. Yeah, but you need to no, no. Schedule, I need that schedule, and I need to live in a clean house. I'm not living in the shit all. Don't leave your stuff around because it's not nice. You come in and you just trash the place up. Like it's not, because it's not nice on me. I'm the one who has to pick up all the pieces after you just swan off and do whatever you want. You and never let me know what's happening. You never give me time to do my own chores. I don't care. No, I don't care. I don't care. This is my house. And I am going to have you start respecting it as my house. And start looking at yourself, not as it, not, not as like it's your place. Start looking as if, like, you're a guest, all right? That's what it is. You're a guest in my house. Uh, yep, my name's Kurt Murray. Um, I'm acting in uh, Question of Consent. Uh, I studied as a actor in Flinders University Drama Centre in Adelaide in South Australia. Um, I also um, yeah, studied at different times, short periods, um, directing and set design at the same time. Uh, but my uh, degree was a Bachelor of Creative Arts with honours in um, drama performance. The style of performance um, is very much uh, performers um, passing a lot of influence over the director and putting the trust in that to actually for the work to come about. Um, so whilst our creative input is there constantly, it is limited. Um, which was really like interesting for me because I'm very much an ensemble worker like you know mm -hmm. Everyone sit in a circle and let's just bash out ideas until we get a result um, So it was it was very interesting for me to actually just take the handle back and just go Okay, we're just gonna ride this one out and, and see where it goes mm -hmm. um, But it's ended up in a really good place and yeah, I'm really looking forward to keep working on it What do you think? Do you think, it, do you think he wants to talk to you? Well, he hopes so. Tell me why he will want to talk to you. Because from him talking to me, because of I don't think he ever wants to see you again. You broke me fucking heart! <laughs> fucking wrecked it. Will you do this shit? No, you're ashamed. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna feel real fucking sorry for you. He's gonna feel about as sorry for you as I do. I think it's time for me to go. Yeah, I do think it's time for you to go. Mm -hmm. Then get out there. My name is Ryan Andrew Prescott. Um, I'm 25 years old.
as of a few days. And um, yeah, I'm an actor, um, among other things. Um, I went to Stanley High School, uh, which was a sports college. Um, been interested in acting since I was a little kid, since I ever watched a Jim Carrey movie and realized that this guy can make the whole world laugh. And uh, from that moment, I kind of wanted to do that. It sounds a bit cheesy, but that's kind of what actually led me into it at first. And then um, after that, I, I studied performing arts acting at a college, uh, which was great. Um, and, uh, and then I went on to get a scholarship program, which was awesome because I was skint. <laughs> um, and yeah, um, still skint, but <laughs> no, um, uh, yeah, I did a scholarship program at Lipper, Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts for three years. Now, you know what, this has been such, um, such a great um, experience as far as freedom as an artist is concerned, because you can really express yourself in any way through the given techniques. You get a lot of room to um, experiment with your own person, uh, and, and find new limits within yourself. This is why this has been so good. First movement's like this, second movement's like this, third movement's like this, anyway. Now, inside of that structure, they are free to think as they wish, okay? Now, with a lot of actors, when you get them on stage, what they do is they start um, overthinking and pushing. So you get a lot of like, okay, you get a lot of nonsense. Okay, this game teaches them, in order to act efficiently and authentically, all they have to do is succumb to the thoughts, follow a stream of thought inside those movements. It frees them up. Okay, so this one's all about the eyes. Now, if you do this game properly, the byproduct of it is emotion. It's very exciting. This game's really important as far as it teaches them how to talk. Simple as. Basically, we start from the human. Okay, now, you're listening to me. Okay, now that's dictating everything that you're showing me right now. You're not thinking about how your body's moving. You're not thinking about how you're showing me um, your body language. And I'm not thinking about how my words are coming out of my mouth. If I start to think about how I want to send my words to you, it becomes off, it becomes nonsense, it becomes false. Okay, now, this game opens them up so that their literal thought manipulates everything. We no longer have to think about the body, and it stops them from thinking about how they're speaking. And it gets them used to the, the, the the inherent um, thinking and speaking and listening process, okay, of which emotion is a byproduct of. So in this particular game, they have very simple things to do. They either have to argue or justify. Now, because these guys know each other so well, they go pretty deep in the heart when they're arguing or just or when 
they're arguing, okay, in hopes that I'm listening to you, you say something that cuts me, I understand, I let my natural thinking process occur, and then I say whatever I want next, all right? Now the acting, the story, is all in the eyes, and it's all in their intention and how they say things. My parents are a big inspiration for me, and I just want to dedicate myself to work, um, to pay back all their efforts, and um, and I think like stage performing is the best place where you can express yourself. You can release all your demons. No, I'm probably in the UK. Well, in Europe, stay. Uh, it depends where the opportunity is. Um, yeah, so I'm Irish citizen through grandparent heritage and all the rest of it so yeah um, I, I'm very much float to where the opportunities come up and the things I stick with I mean I'll be sticking with craft for quite a while after this definitely. I, I've just got a job on casualty a nice little um, you know one for the CV um, pays the bills uh, and then yeah hopefully um, you know get a couple I'd love to get a nice solid film or something like a, a good uh, ITV drama or something again to to fill in the summer and bring a bit of publicity about and I've got a few things here and there that I, that I have to do that's already lined up and next year I kind of plan to go to LA and stay with my friend over there and attack the industry from, from uh, the sunny side of the pond. I really, really would like that 28 degrees every day, that really make a difference. Yeah. My prospects are uh, to gain more self-discipline and to carry on training and developing myself by myself as well, not just relying on others to push me. And just knowing that I am capable of doing anything and that I can pick up my puppets and start making new shows. And going back to what I love as well, because I found a new love and passion in this, but I, I don't want to neglect my love and passion for my horror theater, my French horror theater, German expressionism, puppets, that's a big part of me. group of actors working with something that is real as opposed to like text-based it, it makes it more important for them and thus fulfills them in a different way you know it's it's not about the end product hey there's a million people that's come to our show we got five star reviews or it's just gonna take me and I'm gonna be on TV no you know it the importance came from the journey of this process literally and the act and the art of creation and the development inside themselves and the development inside of her so there's just multiple, multiple layers of um, development and growth and love and complexity in the breathing piece of art that we created.